viewers welcome once again to the channel and as a norm remember to subscribe as you move along so basically today we're going to learn on this spraying program of potatoes this is now six weeks old, six weeks old and i just want to directly let you know what we did since the time it sprouted so after planting uh, the crop sprouted after after three weeks so what we did Immediately we realized as sprouted we came and sprayed with insecticide and a fungicide So for the insecticide you are spraying lambda cellulothrin uh, So it's basically any chemical you can get from agrostores any chemical with lambda cellulothrin That is the active ingredient. So we sprayed and we were actually drenching Drenching meaning we were spraying towards the foothold So we were actually going towards the foothold where the roots are and then um, for fungicide, uh, it's just normal. So we are spraying uh, on the leaves. So I've just said on uh, insecticide, we're actually doing towards the roots, the root area, the root zone, and then ensuring that the whole plant is wet. Um, so that is three weeks after it sprouted. And then um, we came on the fourth week. We also did uh, an insecticide. We also did a fungicide. For the fungicide, all this time around, for the, that is the first spring you are doing mancozed, that is a protective one, so because there were no diseases as well. So mancozed, or uh, this is a protective fungicide, helps in actually protecting the crop against any form of um, infect, uh, disease infection. So we just want to make sure your crop is safe, so we, we sprayed fungicide, that is mancozed. That is the second half spraying on the fourth week. Um, on the fifth week, we were actually applying, um, and before I forget, on the fourth week as well, we did, uh, that is on the second spring, we added a foliar fertilizer that is high in phosphorus. So we did a foliar fertilizer that is high in phosphorus. Um, um, high here containing, when I say high, it basically means it contains above around 24% uh, of P, that is foliar fertilizer. So we did foliar fertilizer that is high in P. Now, so we are now in the fifth week. The fifth week, uh, we were actually spray. Uh, we were actually doing molding. Now the crop has has actually grown. Uh, so we did the first not molding. We did the first weeding. We did the first weeding on the fifth week. We did the first weeding, and before we did our weeding, we actually um, added CAN. But for, that is fertilizer. So we top dress with CAN, that is fertilizer. It contains 26% nitrogen, CAN. So we came and uh, applied on the root zone as well. And then uh, we weeded the first weeding. So now we are done with the first weeding. So this is now the sixth week. We've just, um, that is, just done uh, um, uh, spraying. Uh, as you can see all along here, we've done a uh, spraying because uh, we've noticed that our crop is now having a blight. So that is blight. So the crop is has been infected with diseases, so it's having blight. So we had to apply. We had to apply um, a, a protective a protective chemical plus. A chemical that actually heals the crop so as you can see in this field i have blight so so it treats so now for that chemical the chemical we used is um we used one called to galaxy it contains two molecules that is um metalaxyl and mancozet so metalaxyl is basically a chemical that uh, that heals or that treats the other one that is mancozeb is a basically a chemical that uh, protects. So, uh, as you can see, even the leaves still has the droplets of um, uh, concentration of the chemical, the whitish part that is on this notch. So we just done it. Um, um, that is now up to the sixth week. So we've done protective chemicals. We've done. A chemical that treats we have also also added CAN. We just did a, a first weeding, but on that first weeding, it was basically like uh, molding it, um, molding it, but not that much. So we are coming now 
this coming the 17th, they're doing the final molding so that now the crop is, uh, is ready and uh, the flowering starts and then uh, we go to the next area. So I just want us now to quickly see some uh, effects I've encountered in this place. Um, I've said number one, I've talked of uh, blight. Um, and then number two, I have now a very serious one. And the, I think we can relate on this, this one. So I'm in trouble. Eh? Yeah, I'm in trouble. When you see in your potato field, that then um, that is serious trouble. Um, this is blight. This is blight, but now it is healed. Um, how to differentiate? Uh, you can find the the area, the area for example, this one now. So it's not progressing. So that one has uh, it's healed. The chemical has worked on it. So now back to blight. B back to back to bacterial wilt the drying of, uh, of, of, of of the whole plant this is trouble as just have said it's a very serious thing uh, saying serious because controlling it is a real problem working on it's a real problem it's an expensive it takes uh, roughly first of all you can get the direct chemical to control it it's been uh, it's been an issue in various fields so i've heard people saying the there's chemical uh, however i haven't found someone who is uh, who has successfully controlled this um the only way to control is now cultural activity cultural activity here meaning um you are using you're actually uprooting the crop the affected crop so basically like this one I'm supposed to uproot and then destroy the whole the whole plot. So that is destroyed by maybe burning the whole plant. So you can see I have a, a number of them. Uh, I'm disappointed because uh, this crop, this variety I, I acquired from. Uh, someone who actually told me he purchased from a, a certified company and um yeah it's, it's, it's not proving that so i said the first one is a cultural activity that is uprooting the whole plant and then burning it secondly is just ensuring that you acquire certified seeds so not like what i did getting from someone who bought, who is just giving me stories that he bought or acquired from someone else no just go yourself purchase from a company certified and at least you can follow the track or you can someone is accountable so you purchase from a certified company or get certified seeds now that one you are guaranteed your field won't be having any so for instance for this case now this field I can't plant again potatoes because this area is now affected. So I have to move to another place. So you also do crop rotation. So three things. Number one, approve the whole plant and burn. Number two, uh, ensure you acquire certified seeds. Number three, do crop rotation. That one you are assured you can now maintain your field. I know in greenhouse there are arguments that you can do one, two, three, like ensure, uh, like um, heating the ground you basically add a, a sulfide chemical on the soil that is inside the greenhouse and then now you spread um, you spread uh, that is uh, what they call mulching mulching bags so mul mulching bags you spread on the on the floor of the greenhouse of the soil then now the heat from the scorching heat will actually um, destroy the bacteria but for our case in the field, I'm, I'm hearing there are a number of chemicals, but I can't, I can't confess or I can't testify because I've not, uh, I've not seen anyone who has been successful on the same. Now, um, one thing also to note in this field, uh, just living alone uh, now, uh, another thing beside the, um, beside the bacterial wilt is the variety. Yes, despite having bacterial wilt, 
but you can see how the crop is doing if driving very well now in another video i had posted you can uh, i had said factors to consider when you are actually selecting the best seed and for this you can see this was one uh, one um, one seed but you can notice they have how many branches we are talking of more than four branches eh? we are talking of more than four branches from one seed so each branch translates to number of um, translates to number of uh, number of tubers so the the more the number of tubers you have the number of the more the number of branches you have the higher the number of tubers so i i can actually relate in every every bunch this is a this is three this is two this is uh, this is three as well so this is three we have three here now um in, in each and every plot i can actually can actually relate and uh, so we have four here uh, four four here this one is hey a lot eh? they're taking like eight they're taking of more than six eh? so those are a number of branches i have and it was one sibling so um it's not bad uh, i think um we'll we'll have a something it as well you can imagine this is from one branch one seed this is one seed so i have a number of branches uh, so for that and also the uniformity on plant height i think um, i'm like around 80 percent you know some have lodged because of the because of the wind or whatever but now um yeah the plant height is is okay so up to that end um thank you for watching i hope you've learned something i'll keep you posted on the same i'll give you posted on the on the the number on the what is progressing here so in the next video i'll start from this week six and then uh, as we move along thank you for watching have a blessed time and remember to subscribe and maybe that notification bell so that when the next video come will be posted thank you